graphing linear equations from standard form and slope intercept form. This video will demonstrate how to graph linear equations. We'll look at two types of equations, equations in standard form and equations in slope intercept form. Are we going to use graphing calculators for this lesson? No, we're not. If you know me, you know how much this is out of character for me, but we can do this just as easily without a graphing calculator as with one. Let's talk about standard form first. This is an equation in standard form. The simplest explanation of an equation in standard form is that the variables are on one side of the equal sign, and a number is by itself on the other side of the equal sign. There are a couple other rules for being in standard form, like the x variable has to be positive, and the coefficients of the variables and the number have to be as smallest integers possible. But we won't worry about these because we're just trying to solve problems without regard to the sacred traditions or conventions of algebra. The strategy we'll use has us find the x-intercept of this equation and the y-intercept, which are points on the x-axis and y-axis, respectively. Then to graph the equation by simply drawing a line through these two points. We solve for the x-intercept by covering up the y-term. I like using my thumb. With the thumb covering the y term, we have left 4x equals 20. All we do to solve for the x-intercept is to calculate x by dividing the coefficient of x, which is 4. So the x-intercept is 5. We mark the point on the x-axis. Now we find the y-intercept by setting x equal to 0 by covering up the x term. That gives us 5y equals 20. We solve for the y-intercept by dividing both sides by 5, so our y-intercept is 20 divided by 5, which equals 4. And we graph the point along the y-axis at 4. Now we're ready to graph the equation by drawing a line through the two points. For that, we line up a ruler or another straight edge to help us draw a reasonably straight line. And with that ruler in place, we can draw a pretty accurate line. And here is that line. This is for the equation 4x plus 5y equals 20. Let's look at this other equation, 4x plus 12 equals 6y. This equation is not in standard form or slope-intercept form, so we need to get it to standard form with a number on one side and variables uh, on the other side to easily graph it using our method. The easiest way to get this equation in standard form is to move the x term, which is 4x, to the other side of the equation. And over here on the right side, the 4x term changes signs to become minus 4x. We can solve for the x-intercept by covering the y term with our thumb. That leaves us with negative 4x equals 12. We solve for x by dividing both sides by negative 4 such that x equals 12 divided by negative 4 which equals negative 3. We mark the x-intercept on the x-axis at x equals negative 3. We now cover the x term to solve for the y-intercept. This leaves us with 6y equals 12. We solve for the y-intercept by dividing both sides of the equation by 6, and since 12 divided by 6 is 2, our y-intercept is 2. We now mark the y-intercept on the y-axis at y equals 2. We graph the line by drawing a line through the two points. This is the graph of the equation 12 equals 6y minus 4x. Let's look at this one. 2x minus 4y equals 16. Stop the video, graph the equation, then restart the video to see if you did it correctly. First we cover the y term with our thumb so that that 2x equals 16 remain. Solving for x, we divide by 2, so x equals 8. We mark the x-intercept at x equals 8 along the x-axis. Now we cover the x term, and we have negative 4y equals 16. We find the y-intercept by dividing both sides of the equation by negative 4, so 16 divided by negative 4 is negative 4. We can mark the y-intercept at y equals negative 4. Now we can complete graphing 
by drawing the line through the two points. This is the graph of the equation 2x minus 4y equals 16. Let's look at an equation in slope-intercept form with the y variable by itself on one side of the equation. This is y equals 2x minus 3. The slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. I like to think of m being uh, climbing and b as, as in the beginning at the y-intercept. So we take the negative 3 and mark the y-intercept here along the y-axis. The next thing we do is look at the m, or slope. To use the slope here of 2, we need to make a fraction out of it. What is the fraction of the integer 2? Well, it's 2 over 1. With 2 over 1, we need to start at the y-intercept and move up 2, or the rise, which equals 2, and to the right 1, or the run, which equals 1. Now we mark the second point here at the end of that run. Now we can use these two drawn points to create the line of the function. And this is the graph of y equals 2x minus 3. Let's look at this function in slope-intercept form. y equals negative 4 fifths x plus 2. The first thing we notice is the b, or y-intercept at 2. So we place the first point at y equals 2 along the y-axis. Now we take the rise on our numerator at negative 4. Negative 4 means what? It means down 4. We use that to go down 4 from our initial point. Then we take the denominator at 5 and use it to run to the right from where we left off after our rise of negative 4. Now we mark our second point of the line here at the end of the run. Now we draw a line through our two points to define the line. So this is the graph of the equation y equals negative 4 fifths x plus 2. Let's look at this last equation. Stop the video and graph the equation, then restart it to see if you worked it correctly. First, mark the y-intercept at negative 5. Since the x term is x, we draw in the slope of 1 over 1. So we draw the rise of positive 1 and the run of positive 1. And we mark our second point here. Now we have two points to draw the line. Let's review. If you have an equation in standard form like this one, you can graph it with two points. Cover the y term, then solve for x, which gives the x-intercept. The x-intercept is 21 divided by negative 3, which equals negative 7. Mark the x-intercept on the x-axis. Next, cover the x term. Then, solve for y, which will be the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 21 divided by 7, which equals 3. Mark the y-axis at y equals 3. All that remains is to draw the line through the two points. Now to review how to graph an equation in slope-intercept form with the y by itself on one side of the equal sign. For slope-intercept form, mark the y-intercept first on the y-axis, and here it's marked at y equals negative 3. We look at the numerator of the slope in front of the x term. We take that number and go up or down from the y-intercept. Since this is 3, we go up 3. After that, we look at the denominator and go to the right that many units. This is the run and will always be to the right. We go four units to the right. Mark that second point. And now with two points, we can draw the line. This has been Graphing Linear Equations from Standard Form and Slope-Intercept Form. Thanks for viewing.